Hello, my name is Timothy Lawson, and I'll be talking today about the Zen Hypervisor. Zen is a piece of software created by the Zen Project. It is a virtual machine monitor, VMM, or what is known as a hypervisor. A hypervisor handles the interaction between a computer and multiple virtual machines. Uh, in this instance, the computer is known as the host machine and the virtual machines are known as the guest domains. Uh, Zen is an open source type one or a bare metal hypervisor. This means that Zen operates directly above the hardware layer, but below any existing operating system that's on this machine. Uh, some of the features of Zen are a small footprint. The microkernel is fairly small and provides a limited guest interface, uh, making it a little bit more secure and robust. Um, Zen is mostly used with Linux, but it can also be used with Solaris and NetBSD. Zen provides driver isolation, which is fairly helpful if you're running multiple virtual machines and a driver crashes on one. Um, that crash won't affect any other virtual machine that might be running. Um, but it will start and reboot uh, that driver on the affected virtual machine. Um, Zen also provides para-virtualization, meaning that fully para-virtualized uh, para guests must be optimized to run Zen, but this allows for faster speeds when using a fully para-virtualized guest. Uh, some of the responsibilities of Zen are CPU scheduling, uh, memory partitioning, and uh, the control and execution of these virtual machines. The supported types of virtualization are para-virtualization, which uses modified guest OSs, and um, these make calls to the hypervisor for resources, storage, and uh, CPU access. It does this because these para-virtualized guest OSs don't virtualize uh, their own hardware devices from the system, whereas the hardware virtualized OSs are fully virtualized, meaning that they have their own set of virtualized hardware devices from the system. This does unfortunately cause more ho overhead than what Para has. Um, between Zen and the virtual machines, um, or guest domains, we have Domain Zero, which is also called the Control Domain. Uh, domain Zero gives instructions to the hypervisor, such as starting and stopping virtual machines that are uh, on the system, and contains the device drivers for the hardware, which Zen does not contain itself, uh, and the virtual machines won't have until they connect with Domain Zero. Um, domain Zero must be running before any other virtual machines can run, and in fact, Zen won't run without Domain Zero running. Domain Zero, like I said, interfaces with the hypervisor, and it can be used to chain the configure, uh, configuration of Zen and instantiate new domains, um, and it shares resources with the guest OSs. The back end provides virtual devices to be used by the guest domains, and the front end drivers allows these guest OSs to access these virtual devices. The front and back ends share memory, and because of software that's included with Zen, the transfer is actually fairly quick between uh, the guest and Domain Zero. Uh, domain Zero actually has a feature called Tool Stack, which allows for the uh, VM creation, destruction, and configuration using an interface. And there are multiple ways to use an interface with tool stack uh, such as command line console uh, graphical interface and uh, cloud interfaces uh, there are several requirements uh, for using domain zero a zen project enabled kernel is necessary and most linux operating systems come with zen project enabled kernels now um, older versions of linux uh, can become enabled if you um, get an update and para-virtualized guests 
must be para virtualized enabled uh, must have para virtualized enabled kernels and like with zen project enabled kernels there are updates for these other guests if you have any questions about the Zen Project and would like to know more, go, you can go to the zenproject.org website. Uh, this has multiple videos, instructions, and um, history of Zen Project, uh, including many tutorials and videos. Uh, thank you, and have a good day.